I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing uh, Skyrim. And I am walking a dog called Barbus. So I just rescued uh, a guy who was taken prisoner by the Stormcloaks. And I'm going to reset my timer here so that I can keep track of how much time I'm spending. Looking good. And I think where I'm headed now is, oh, that cave marker up ahead. I'm hoping that it isn't, it isn't too far up the mountain, but I'm afraid that it might be. Who's there? Oh, oh, it's a cave holder. Oh, So that is one of the fun things about Dunafir. I think that's his name. Uh, once you learn to summon him, then he will act like a normal dragon against your foes, but he will also summon undeads to fight uh, by your side. So yeah, he is a fun ally to have. Unfortunately, he does count against the number of allies that you can hold at one time. So, you're not going to be summoning him and a Dramora Lord? Okay, that looks promising. Not quite sure what that is up there, I think. I'm hoping... It's been a while since I did this quest. But I'm hoping that's where we want to go. Oh, come on. Hop, hop, hop. Okay, Rhymrock Burrow. That is where I want to be, I guess. So. Actually, I'm going to do something that does not make any sense except by insane crow logic. But I'm going to fast travel to where I am, which will put me probably up on top of, uh, of this. Yes, it did. And it brought Serana up with me. So, yeah, it's pretty stupid that that works, but it works. And this, I believe, is where we need to go to get the axe for that Daedra. Well, and the dog. Okay, so I don't remember what is down here. I'm going to assume that... Okay. So... We are creeping forward and... That looks like... An Atronach. Very easily killed after knock at that. Bye bye. And apparently, what I want is right here. Rueful axe. That's a reasonable sub subset of what I've got. Okay, so I guess... Yes. Coin purse, antlers. Those, that, those actually look like reasonably big antlers to me, not small ones, but oh. Let's head back out with this axe. 
I'm glad that this wasn't a super long dungeon. So now I need to take this axe back to Hamar's uh, shame. way is down here. Do I really need to walk all the way back down? Oh man, it is so... Oh, anyhow. Per se. Yes, maybe I can give him a friend. Here. If you get lonely, you can play with the friend that I have given you. finally back to the statue. seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me! Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic X. Everyone's happy, just get over here, mutt. Oh. 
Okay. So where is he? Oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. That has been oh. wish. Wow. An end to the war, was it? I'll make sure this war ends all right. Just as soon as the dragons swarm across Skyrim and wipe out all of you puny. Oh, fine. Have my bone and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. Okay, so. Yeah, I just got a mosque of. Clavicus file, which I think. Pretty useless. But oh well. Oh, is there a fast looks like there might be a fast way out of here. Okay, maybe. Not sure how to get through here. But yeah, that looks promising. Oh yeah. Okay, that's handy. I, I wonder if I might have come back in this way. Saber tooth tigers. Not that fun. Now, if I remember my biology right, saber tooth tigers became extinct um, something like 10 or 20,000 years ago. Okay, so next, I guess I'm going to return to, right, uh, to Whiterun and let the lady know that her son is still alive. That looks promising. It is up ahead, a little bit to the right. Ah, yes. Please tell me you have news. Is he? You've saved what? How? How do I know you're telling me the truth and not just? For it bears a lot. So it's true then. Thank you, dear. I'd head your. Why don't you take it? We can always make another for the day when this war ends and Thorold can come home. Okay, so that's it for that. Uh, next we kind of want to... Uh, I suppose we might as well uh, head to Skyhaven Temple and advance the dragon quest a little bit. So we're going to warp to the Lover Stone. And I think we have to go southeast of here.
Okay, so yeah, south, east, and a little bit more south than east. South, east, okay. Whoa. Okay, we're going to want to be careful here not to die by falling off a cliff. And wait, what are we doing? Okay, we're heading a little bit too far south. But on the other hand, might as well learn this. It's probably a mine. I think that's normally the, the symbol for mines. Okay, yep, it's a mine. Or, Okay, now we want to see how we're doing now. Heading too far east, we want to head a little bit more south. Okay, and that is probably the right direction. Okay. Scale the mountain. Up we go. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous, game. Let's make sure that we are going the right way. Yeah, roughly speaking. So it should be near those teepees up there, which I think are giant camps, probably. I'll be hopping up the mountain when I come. I'll be hopping up the mountain when I come. I'll be hopping up the mountain. And there'd better be a drinking fountain. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, seem to be getting stuck here. Maybe over here. Oh, tag nabbit. Oh, son of a... Oh, come on, no! Okay, that this is just shit. Pra practically down the whole bloody mountain, just scooting a little bit to the right. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Now what was the problem here? I think I was having trouble getting past this part here, and so I ended up moving right instead of left. Let's try left, then. Maybe I can scale up this thing. Okay, maybe. Okay, and... Uh that might be hard to... Okay, this is looking pretty promising. Yeah, looking pretty promising indeed. Not sure what this structure is over here. Uh, why can't I... What's going on over there? Why am I getting stuck on this? The game is not letting me move leftwards. And there's Serana materializing out of nowhere. Well, that's good. It's great that my followers can manage that kind of trick. Wish she could have pulled me with her. Oh, son of... Come on, game. What are you doing? It's 
this episode really going to be f filled with a failure to climb as a mishap? I saw someone up there with, with a, a, a lamp. Was that Serana? Maybe that was Serana who somehow teleported up there and the game decided to put her at my side afterwards or something. Okay, well, up we go again. Except this time we'll, we'll head left instead of right and maybe that will give us a little bit more success. What is over here to our left? Okay, more steep cliff. I can maybe lunge my way back up or something. Sneak? Am I even sneak? Oh, yeah, apparently I am sitting or, or crouching or something. Oh, come on. What am I doing here? Really? Really I'm going to just slide all the way back down like that? I wonder where Esburn and what's her name? What's his name is? Okay, gain entrance to Skyhaven Haven Temple. I want to turn left a little bit and go straight then, maybe. Oh yeah, okay. So maybe that is what was happening. I was attempting to... to scale right to the top and the game wouldn't let me in that way. like there are some bandits down here. Sounds like you did. Oh, hello dragon. What are you doing here? Well actually... Dragon does sound fun. So. What was that? That might be uh Oh wait, oh that's Delphine. Hey Delphine, sorry for just shooting you. How you doing, Esprin? Uh, again, apologies for shooting your partner here. Someone is shooting me and doing some pretty decent damage. Okay. I could use a hand here. Okay, so that gets this dragon over here. Good. And 
what else is going on here? Okay, so there is... Okay. Just remember that you asked for this. Why are we fighting those guys up there? Oh well. If only my companions were not so bloody aggressive, then... One fewer. Are we done? I hope we're done because I. Okay, so now we want to actually head back to Skyhaven Temple, which is roughly straight ahead and maybe a little bit to the left. Oh, yeah, it's, so that means it's up on top of here. And yes, we are hearing a Nurn root, but I don't care at the moment. So, up we go. Oh, where was the entrance? Was this the entrance? Yeah, this is the entrance. And so at some point we will need to go and get the other uh, Elder Scroll. pretty quick. And again, we could loot all this this area, but most of it's junk, and I accidentally just picked up a Warhammer that I don't need. But, oh well. Okay, moving right along. Now this is just something where you kind of have to uh, guess what the appropriate orientation is. First time I saw this stuff, I spent quite some time looking around for hints. And it was a total waste of time. Okay. And where is... Somewhere back here should be, yeah, our buddies. So let's keep on moving. And this is definitely a dungeon that is not ADA compliant, although very few dungeons are. So maybe I shouldn't worry about that too much. And yes, so this is a really creepy door. Oh, come on, guys. I think we are missing, uh, oh, yeah, there's Delphine. So we just need. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 
Here's the blood seal. Another of the lost look at the arts. No doubt it's treated by well. Excellent. Oh, my blood. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered we will see it. Why does it have to be my blood? Oh. And... Okay, so let's proceed into the temple and uh, we will learn what we can do about dragons from in here. Man, that must be fun in winter. So some pretty neat carvings. Oh, come on, guys. Get your tuchus over here. Come on, guys. Move it. Guys. Come on. Let's see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for Alduin's wall, right, Esburn? Uh, yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later. Let's see what's up ahead. Yeah. Come on. It's good that they can count on the lights still working after this place has been abandoned by, uh, or abandoned for who knows how long. Wait, is this... I wouldn't expect a chair to last this long. I'm calling bullshit. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, admittedly, I'm a little bit less patient for this because I've seen this scene countless times, well, not countless, but at least seven or eight times by virtue of having played the game a few times, but okay, they have lit the torch, uh, or the, uh, well, giant torches. Oh, I for one welcome our new dragon overlords. Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tom's masters of the voice are arrayed against the blah, 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 blah. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that one over here? Ah, patience. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in hell. Mythic symbols. Yes, yes. Coming from the mouths of the moon. This is the Akaviri symbol for shout, but there's no watch out his hand. You mean they used a shout to defeat You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to that. Or even Alduin himself. This recorded all the news of Alduin. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to win. If they had their the gray beards, think about it. No. Trust me. There is no need to be afraid. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the those that shrank, and they are the villains. Those that misused their power. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll... Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely to help Esper and me. We'll look around Scott Talos, guard you. Yeah, The prophecy of the world to Tamriel in the first place. In search of the dragon. Okay, so... 
that has nicely advanced the plot. So we are going to head up to th the throat of the world and uh, talk again to the gray uh, beards at High Hrothgar. We will head inside and say hello. Training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought... Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades? You... No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they... No, it is called Dragonrend. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can... You weren't... But, thanks to the Blades, you now have... He is our leader. He lives... He speaks to us only rarely. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. So this is another one of the interesting uh, uh, moral dilemmas in the game. The uh, approach to, uh, to use of power, and later on there'll be another dilemma that divides the Greybeards from uh, the Blades. And in this, on this particular division, I tend to sympathize a little bit more with the uh, with the blades than the than the graybeards, but there's a second um, ethical issue that comes between them, and for that I sympathize more with the graybeards than the blades. So you haven't seen uh, that yet. We haven't tried to interact with it. That's a magical type of wind. And if you step into it, you'll be dead within a few seconds, unless you back off immediately. I lost, uh, I suffered terrible deaths the first few times I tried running by it until I learned my lesson. Path to Parthenax lies through the show you how to open the way. Look. Far. Core.
Um, oh, I guess I still have to do this one, and now... I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. So that isn't quite true. You can keep on coming back to chat with him. But, and, and to get pointers to more, uh... Okay. So that's what we needed. You can keep on heading back and, uh, get hints as to what the next dungeon is that has, um, that has a shot that you haven't learned yet. But anyhow, it's also possible actually to scale this mountain without a uh, it's possible to uh, to just scale the mountain if you're very careful without the need to um uh, to learn that shout. But you won't advance, um, you still won't be able to find Parthenax up at the top, uh, that way. So, yeah, you, you can't sequence break to that extent. And, uh, up we continue. No, oh, no, 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 no. Goat, 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 don't, don't. Problem is the goats are pretty stupid. And they will wander into the deadly uh, w wind if you don't defuse that wind first. And I kind of care about the, the goats uh, a bit. I also don't like them being killed by the ice wraths, which is why I'm summoning uh, Dramora Lords to wipe out the ice wraths. Maybe I am saving some goats. Maybe not. And there is some more magical wind. And you'll notice that this particular shot has a reasonably fast uh, recharge, uh, recharge time, which is pretty handy. There are a few shots that don't take too long. Whoa! Okay, so he taught me a fire breathing shot. Okay, so 
Okay, so... What would you ask of me? Ah, you would not come all this way for Tinvak, Alduin Kome. But I do not. Your kind, our Hadrime. Yeah, so Dragonrend was made by humans to mess with the minds of, uh, mess with the minds of dragons and make them vulnerable. This world is simply the egg par Rofus. Even we who ride the cur those who try but you have it mm. do you know why I mm. <laughs> oh, <but laughs> Dragons like mountains that this Vaucht Unsla mm. yes and no. the Nords of those days. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. Mm. It is an artifact from outside time. The Kelle, Elder... But this is only a... Mm. I... Which is why I have lived here. Teed If you brought that Kel with the Elder Scroll that... You could learn dragon rend from Croesus. No, I know little of what has popped. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. Return it here, but I believe the scroll. Then you, you will see them. Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleith, Feldir. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sah. But no. I meditate on the know it quantum will I teach you Dovakin it is called think of the way that is Fus let its meaning fill you sum ark mora you will push the world harder than it pushes drem your look greetings okay Speak. I will listen so this is a break in time, this shimmery stuff. But now I finally need to actually go and get the Elder Scroll. Uh, the first Elder Scroll, because there are two timelines that, uh, or two quest lines that depend on it. There's the vampire quest line, and then there is the dragon quest line. So, actually, so I have never done it in this order before. So I am going to uh, pop down to High Hrothgar and chat with uh, with Anagir. Uh, Just because even with this, I've heard some dialogue that I've never heard before, and uh, all the other times that I've played it. I've had the um, the elder uh, the elder scroll that I now need to get by now, but uh, this time I don't. It's actually a reasonably quick thing to retrieve um, once you've unlocked. Um, oh, what is the name of that area? Uh, Black Black Reach. I think Black Reach. Once you've uh, unlocked there, there's actually a spot um, 
uh, down there where you just you enter a dungeon and uh, head through a very short area and you'll find yourself uh, where the Elder Scroll is and you'll see it. We'll, uh, we just scoop it up. But I decided not to do that so early in, uh, in the game this time because... Oh, well, where is he? Oh, it looks like he's out in the courtyard. Okay. But it just sticks in your inventory for a fairly long time, so... Is he still outside? Hmm. Well, the game seems to think that he might be in here. Up here, maybe? Ah, yes. So, you spoke to Parthenaps. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon rend shout? So be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with uh, What are you doing there, Serena? As for where to find it, uh, Serena. blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. Well, as it so happens, I am the Archmage of Winterhold. Such black. Take your question to the College of Winterhold. They may be able to help you. Okay, so I'm going to t actually take us to the College of Winterhold, and I guess I should have time to uh, to chat with whoever I need to chat with before I need to end this video. Of course, I could just go down there and get the Elder Scroll, but I'm interested to see. Uh, I'm interested to see what the dialogue options are that would provide you hints to go down there. Actually, I think. This also opens the quest line. It's a very minor quest, but to talk with that crazy wizard dude who's a little bit north uh, north of here, out on an island. Or maybe I've already wrapped that part up. I don't quite recall. Is this the... No, that's the Archmage's Quarters. Pretty sure I want to go to the Ar Arcanaeum, which is the library and probably talk with Urag. Okay, so let's head up here, see what hints he provides. What's you got to say? I'm not one for commendations, but I might have lost everything that matters. A mage, we've been keeping this collection since the... Of mages need to be reminded to be careful around research materials. Huh. Well, the game does want me to talk with him. Archmage, I have a few things laying around that weren't worth adding to the collection. You may look through them. Hmm. Yeah, the game is suggesting that I talk with him. Might have been lost were it not for you. But it doesn't look like he actually I has anything to say. Yourself. If you want a book from here, you go through it. Okay, well... That is kind of goofy. I'm going to see if I can... I haven't done this yet? Okay, transcribe the lexicon. So, what we're going to do next is we are going to dive down and fetch the Elder Scroll and tra uh, transcribe this lexicon thing.
So let's fast travel to where we need to go. And we'll go to Alftand. And hopefully we'll be able to transcribe the lexicon and grab the older scroll in one quick trip. After that, I'm not quite sure what quest line I'm going to advance. I'll have a lot of options. Hmm. Yeah, so th this is the the Guardian Sphere. Huh, looks like it actually has a coin that might be floating inside it. Well, a coiny looking thing. Oh yeah, so we're, we're back here. So, and as I said, in the next play we're going to head down, transcribe the lexicon, and grab the Elder Scroll. Let's get indoors. But I will see you um, in the next uh, Let's Play. I'm Pat Gunn, and this has been a Let's Play of Skyrim.